Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. Today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. It is day four. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, please consider the word uh, tolerance. That is the character trait we are highlighting all this month of February. Think about what it looks like in your life. What does it mean to you? Why is it important? What does it look like among your friends? And what does it look like when nobody else is looking? That's very important. Now, uh, for our friendly February uh, kindness challenge of the day yesterday, uh, I had challenged you to give a sincere compliment to three people you met. And hopefully you had a chance to do that. Uh, I try to make it a point in my day-to-day uh, -day life to say nice things to as many people as possible, especially as I found it to be pretty easy when I run into all of you guys in the hallways or in the classrooms. Um, but it's, it's one thing to think it. It's another thing to actually do it. So hopefully you actually did it, which was uh, when you notice something great about someone or you're proud of somebody because they met a goal, you actually told them. It makes them feel good and it makes you feel good as well. Now, we'll talk about what our friendly February challenge for today will be in just a moment at the end of announcements. But for now, uh, a quick reminder uh, about our three expectations here at the school. Number one, show that you are respectful. Number two, show that you're responsible. And number three, show that you are ready to learn. Now, I have to apologize. Um, I did have to leave immediately after school and so uh, yesterday, uh, Thursday, so I didn't really have a chance to check uh on the B Bucks cafeteria challenge. It is still in effect and there might have been a change. I have to apologize if there was a change. Uh, I just did not get a chance to check it before I got home. And as you can tell, I am home already. So um, just as, as a recap, where we last left off, uh, Miss Lucky had won the last, uh, in her class, had won the last cafeteria challenge round. And uh, currently we have Miss Moore and Miss Gruber's class in the first place position. Again, that might have already changed. I'm not sure if it, if it has, I will certainly update everybody on Monday. Uh, we also have um, Miss Yeiser's class tied with Miss um, Frederick's class uh, in the second place position, and then Miss Eshelman's class is in the third place position. So we can't wait to see who pulls out the final victory in the end in this latest round of the B-Bucks Cafeteria Challenge. Now, as we have been doing every single day of every single uh, month of this uh, school year, uh, I invite you to join me in our mindful minute. So <clears throat> take a seat where you are. You may stand, you may lay down, choose a position that you are comfortable with, and then stop and notice where you are. Notice presently where you are. Not don't, don't think too much about the past that has already happened. You can't change that. And don't worry about the future because it hasn't happened, so it's not really guaranteed. Just be grateful for the moment that you are in right now and savor it. I invite you to close your eyes if you feel compelled to do so. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can simply lower your gaze, soften it, and uh, pay attention to a point on the floor. And as we always do at the very beginning, we draw our attention to following our breaths in through our nose and out through our mouths. And as happens so often, that first breath is very much a little hurried because that's how our days tend to be. So I challenge you to be more intentional and purposeful with your next breath, to slow it down, to savor the sensations of your breath in through your mouth, I'm sorry, in through your nose, and fully out through your mouth. As you have been getting pretty good at, you might have found a technique that works particularly well for allowing you to follow the journey of your breathing, whether it's the starfish, whether it's the smelling of the flower and blowing out of the candle. Or if you're like me, this is how I started. I simply liked to count my breaths. 
But as we did once again yesterday, I also invited you to draw your attention to the feelings and sensations within your body. They could be the physical sensations, like the aches you might have, the sorenesses, the tensions that are on your shoulders. And allow yourself the permission as you breathe. To study those sensations, to allow those sensations to tell you what they really want to tell you, and without judgment, seek to understand them and allow them to dissipate and disappear whenever it is right. Just as importantly, I also ask you to consider the emotions and the feelings that you have inside of your body. If you're like me, I carry many emotions. For some parts of my life, it's extreme joy. In other parts, sadness or anger. Study one of those emotions. Just choose one. Think about where those emotions came from. How is it affecting you right now, at this given moment, in this place and time? Breathe in. Breathe out. Your mind might wander from time to time, and as I shared with you yesterday, even those of us who have practiced mindfulness for many years, we too find that our mind wander to and from. And whenever we simply notice that our mind has taken off to different thoughts, we invite the mind to come back to the anchor of our breaths in and out and the feelings and the sensations inside of our body. Now, in just a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, I invite you to open your eyes and take in the world around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we all want you to succeed. Whether you have a great day or not, it's not really our choice. We want to, but we don't have that power. Whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. Now, if you'll join me at this moment in standing and facing the flag, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance, after which I will share with you our kindness challenge for this wonderful Friday. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now, our friendly February challenge of the day today is this. And this is perfect, just as we are about to enter into the weekend. Here's a challenge. Make a plan to meet up with others and do something fun. You know, in the Mindful Minute, we're always worried about, well, not worry, but concerned about being present in the here and the now. But it's okay every so often to realize life is fun and anticipations are great too. And as you walk into the weekend, think about who you may want to make plans with and perhaps do something fun. So you, I, I encourage you to think about the friends that you might see um, over the weekend, whether it's at a ball game or, um, or simply in your neighborhood. Think about who you're going to be hanging out with and get excited and make plans uh, to do something fun. Your teachers will be asking you about your plans to meet this challenge. 
I am thinking about how I'm going to meet this challenge too. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to set you off on a wonderful Friday. That's today. Um, and today, have a wonderful weekend if I don't see you. Uh, I can't wait to see you on Monday.